I'm in my house in Cebu and I'm standing next to this wall uh, switch. Uh, this particular switch is a three-way switch and it has another pair of switches above because this switch controls the lamp uh, on the staircase or on the stairs. So if I turn on the switch here, I can also turn down lights from here. But when I go up, there in uh, upstairs there's also another switch that ca I can turn on the light the same light so in other words there are two switches that controls the lamp on the stairs so I can switch the light on from here I can also turn off and I can also turn on when I go up there I can also turn on the lights and turn off so in short if I turn on the lights here, I don't have to go down here to turn this off or to turn the lights off. But I can just turn the lights off from there because it's a three-way switch. When we occupied this house in 2017, I noticed that the two switches were just connected parallel to the lamp. But since I know that this is a three-way switch based on the plan of the developer, so I complain. So I demanded from the developer, Phil Invest, to fix the problem. So having the three-way switch uh, installed on our stairs, it will give us convenience and practicability. Ito yung illustration ng three-way switch system of an electrical circuit. Kung makikita nyo, there are four drawings here and there are two columns. The first column is the off position and the second column is the on position. Okay? So let's examine the drawings here. The first drawing here, here, here makikita natin ang dalawang switches because the three-way switch system has two switches that control a bulb or bulbs. Okay? And... Each of these three we switch has three terminals, the common terminal, the terminal 1, and the terminal 2. The other switch has also a common, then a terminal 1, and a terminal 2. Okay? Now, let's name the switches as ground floor switch and the second floor switch because this is the... Uh, this, these switches are located on the stairway or the staircase. So this uh, bulb is located on our stairs. Now, each of these switches is a single pole double throw, SPDT. Okay? It's single pole double throw because there's only one pole, this one, that uh, connects to either of the output terminals. Meaning, it has only one input and there are two outputs. So it's either the pole will transfer from terminal 2 or to terminal 1. That's why it is called single pole double throw because the, the switch can throw the current from either terminal 1 or terminal 2. Okay. Now, if you observe here, the terminal 1 of uh, both switches are connected and also the terminal 2 of, the, of both switches are also connected and this particular connection is called travelers i don't know exactly why it is called travelers maybe because the current will travel to this path okay so let's proceed now in this position so drawing one the uh, position of the ground floor switch is to terminal two connected to the, the terminal two okay now if there's current from here from ac the current will flow from here goes to the terminal two then goes to the traveler and to the terminal 2 but it cannot proceed the current cannot proceed to the bulb because there is no connection here why there is no connection it's it is because the, the second floor switch is positioned to the terminal one you see the connection here the switch okay so that's off position the same thing also happened on the second illustration here if there is a current flowing here then the switch is positioned to the terminal 1 instead of terminal 2. The current will flow to the terminal 1 of the other switch. But it cannot also proceed because there is no connection here. Because the second floor switch is positioned to the terminal 2. 
Okay? So, there's no complete circuit. Now, if you want to turn on the lights, then you push this switch from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. The illustration will look like this. So, from Terminal 2, the switch is positioned to Terminal 1. So, the current will flow from here to here, then to the traveler and to the Terminal 1 of the uh, second floor switch. And since the, the second floor switch is already positioned to the Terminal 2, then there is a complete circuit. The current will go directly to the bulb and the bulb will glow. So that's a complete circuit, okay? On the other hand also, on the second illustration, if you want to uh, turn on this light, then you will switch from the ground floor, from Terminal 1, you shift to Terminal 2. So this is now the position, Terminal 2. So the current will flow here to the traveler, then to the Tito of the second floor switch, then directly to the bulb. So there is a complete circuit. Now, if you are already at the second floor, for example, this uh, this first uh, scenario, that's a second floor, and if you want to turn off the light, so you transfer, you, you switch this second floor switch, so the switch is repositioned from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. Pag gandito na siya, syempre, mapuputol na dito. So, wala na kuryente. So, hindi na makadaan. So, off na siya. So, ganito rin ang mangyayari dito. Pariho na siya. So, yun lang, no? Parang, parang ganito lang. So, again, if you want to turn off this light, and you are now at the second floor, you just position the second floor switch from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1, as indicated here. Okay? Ito na siya. And also, this one, uh, if you turn off, you want to turn off the light, so you want you, you should position the second floor switch from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. And ito na ang mangyayari. Parihan ito. So, off din ang lights. So, ganun lang ang uh, three-way switch uh, tumatrabaho. I hope you understand my illustration. If you have some question, please ask uh, on the comments section below. These are uh, actual three-way switches and these are for the uh, wall. So these are for the wall switches. And uh, you can see here, there are uh, four terminals. Uh, the terminals are inside you just uh, put the wire, solid wire, on these holes here. Uh, on top, if you can see numbers 0, 0. Then below, we have 1 and 3. Okay. That 0, 0 terminals are the common terminals. So this is uh, represented by the drawings here. So this is where you put the hat of the uh, AC line and the 1 and 3 are for the travelers okay so if there are two switches the connection should be this is the uh, hat from the main line this one and the other switch the common terminal is directly connected to the bulb okay so that's the configuration for one and three you, all you have to do is connect one of the first switch and to the terminal one of the second switch and also connect the terminal three of the uh, first switch to the no terminal three of the second switch so that's it so i have mounted the three way switches on a board so that I could uh, demonstrate it properly and there's the socket for the bulb I'll show you the back portion so at the back of this uh, demo board you can see here the switches that I mounted um, this is the terminals 1 and 3 and the common terminals here 0 0 and also the other switches the uh, terminal ones and th one and three and also the terminal uh, the common terminal zero zero then i uh salvage a socket here for ac that i'm going to use to 
uh, supply this uh, sample three wheel switch um, system and I also prepared some uh, electrical wires here I already pre cut so that I could uh, just directly show you how to connect the three wheel switch system so we'll have to follow the uh, diagram in our uh, sample circuit here so this is just easy so first uh, we have to connect one of the uh, lines from our AC uh, let's just uh, assume that this is a neutral line as shown on our diagram uh, although this is brown color according to the color coding this should be live but anyway uh, it's just the same the other uh, line supposedly the uh, hat uh, line of the AC should be connected also to the to our ground floor switch to the common uh, terminal of our ground floor switch so this is the zero zero okay uh, you just press the wire to, uh, into the hole and it will lock okay so you cannot already pull that out that's already locked <laughs> okay and the other terminal of the bulb is also uh, connected to the common terminal of the uh, upper ground or the second floor switch this is the this are the common terminals so meron dalawon uh, common terminal so you can just use either of the two press to the hole and it's already locked now we are going to connect terminals one of both switches and also terminals three of both switches now our last line is for terminals one so it's done okay so again let's review um, one of the terminals of the bulb is connected directly to one of the lines on our AC input then the other terminal of the bulb is connected to the common of the other of the second switch or the second four switch then the other terminal of the uh, AC line uh, is connected directly to the common of the uh, ground floor switch and terminals 3 of both switches are connected and also terminals 1 of both switches are also connected so we are done so we're going to test and so we'll have to put the bulb here and plug this in so for example um, I'm I'm at the ground floor or the first floor and I'm going to um, go upstairs so I'll just turn the switch on and it's the light is on so I'll uh, climb up the stairs and go to the second floor and I'll turn off the switch here and moments later I'm going down so again I'm turning the switch on the, the lights on so I'll have to push the light at the second floor it turns on and I'm going down and turn off the lights here so that's it so I had successfully demonstrated to you how to install a three-way switch system and for your information I first learned this system when I was still in second year high school back in the 80s so if a 14 year old student like me at that time knew how to install this uh, three wizard system then there's no reason for you adults not to learn this
So please uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, click that notification bell so that you will be informed of any videos like this in the future. Dengan selamat, aku si Jun Teriman, High Tech Tabai.